Good morning everyone. I'm starting off the vlog today. I'm already dressed and I'm really excited because my um, furniture delivery just arrived. So I got a few pieces from Urban Barn and I just I wanted to open them up with you and um, just I don't know show them to you. It's been a little while. I think you've seen some vlogs already where I actually went shopping at Urban Barn and so now the pieces have arrived and I'm so excited. So let's go see them. These are the pieces here. I believe this is gonna be the mirror, the coffee table, and I'm not sure what this is here. And what I've done in here, just for reference, is I've put this mirror in here because this new Urban Barn one is gonna go in my dressing room. Now, I don't know if this is gonna stay here. Obviously, I will be getting a new couch um, soon. So yeah, but oh, so excited. Let's open these up. And this is the new mirror. I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful. All the details are just so gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I am so, so happy with this mirror. It's absolutely beautiful. I find that it actually matches my Structube mirror like that's on my vanity a little bit better. So I'm very, very, very happy with it. Um, so now I just have to open up my coffee table and I feel like this is gonna make the biggest difference in my living room. Um, oh, so excited so let's go open it up so we just we have huge boxes now that we're gonna have to deal with in here um okay i'm gonna sit you down so i can unbox this and this is the new table I absolutely love it. Now, this is not what it's gonna look like. Um, but quite frankly, it's actually been really, really hard to style, but this is a, um, it, now it's fake wood from Urban Barn. Um, now, I was a little bit upset because I didn't realize that it was gonna be like a fake um, piece. I thought it was gonna be like real wood for the price, but honestly, it's beautiful. I love how kind of, um, imperfect it is and right now i just got my um candle holders this beautiful beautiful um coffee table book from anthropology it's just got some beautiful interiors um i love the like green velvet it gives me like great gatsby like the roaring 20s feels and it's so beautiful um and i have this bowl here just for kind of honestly envisioning trying to see what we could put but obviously this needs to be balanced so i think i'm going to end up getting some sort of bowl to go on this side and i really want this coffee table book here because i just think it's gorgeous so yeah that's what it looks like so i just feel like this goes so so well with the room and as you can see we've moved my mirror um out here so this was actually in my dressing room prior to now and i just think this looks beautiful obviously the couch is gonna change soon um, but I just I absolutely love this I think it looks stunning and I also wanted to show you my new antique books I picked these guys up at an antique market in Cambridge um, and it's funny because they only took personal check and cash which I found really really funny but I guess it's fitting for an antique shop um, but I found these beautiful George Eliot books and this one here these are all about a hundred years old so the last publishing date is 1919 so at the very least these are over 100 years old which I think is so so cool and then of course I've got my shark tube table indigo um, coasters my Smythe room spray I know I've mentioned this before but you guys truly truly do need this room spray it is life-changing so yeah that's this new little area here I absolutely love it again I love this table so much it just looks so, so beautiful. And I love the new mirror here. I think it just, I don't know, it's really, really pretty and it brings more gold into kind of this space. So yeah, I really love it. And then of course, this still looks the same. We've moved some things around here, but I, this is not gonna look like this for <laughs> forever. But um, yeah. Right now I am just going to uh, um, organize some flowers. So I got these flowers from a Maison Margiela event and they're starting to not look great so I'm gonna grab my Tuesday made um, vase and just kind of rearrange them in here put some um, food in there for them and some fresh water so yeah hopefully that makes them look a little bit more revived um, but yeah that's kind of the plan and then I think after that I'm going to hop in the shower get into some comfies and just 
I don't know, cook some dinner because I haven't cooked dinner. My face is also looking so much lighter than my body because I self tanned today. And um, yeah, I haven't self tanned my face, so I need to do that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash this tan off, get some comfies on, and cook dinner. But I'm gonna do my flowers first. Um, yeah, so, anyways, let's do that. So these are my flowers here. Obviously, I'm no expert, but I love how they turned out. I've got all my beautiful roses, um, and just, it's so beautiful. So I think I'm gonna probably put this on my new coffee table. Oh, let's do it, I'm so excited. And I also love, love, love this vase. I feel like it's so stunning. Um, I think it's sold out, which is really sad, but um, I'll try and link some similar ones if I can find them. just showered I finished eating dinner and I thought I would do my skincare with you so I have a super super clean face and I feel like I haven't done my skincare with you in quite some time and it's changed it's evolved um, I find my skincare changes a lot as the seasons changes so my winter skincare is gonna look very very different than my summer skincare and same with fall and spring just because I feel like my skin needs different things so I'm gonna start off with toner. Now there's two toners I have been loving. Um, the first one is this one from Valmont. So this is the Lumi Peel. This one is a peel that you can use every day. It literally makes your skin like glow from within. It's outstanding. Um, the other one that I've been loving is this Tula Get Toned Pro Glycolic for surfacing toner. This one I find is like a little bit gentler than the Lumi Peel. Um, so it's a little bit more hydrating. So on days where my skin feels a little bit drier, I will use the Tula one and every other day I will use my Lumi Peel. But today my skin is feeling a little bit dry. So I'm going to do my Tula one. Oh, I cannot tell you how happy I am with my new furniture. Um, we had some troubles getting the coffee table together because it is like two pieces that go together and um, we did it wrong the first time. It wasn't perfect, but um, it ended up looking so, so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I believe it's the Ives or Eves table from Urban Barn. Um, absolutely stunning I just I feel like it changes the living room it looks so so stunning um, couldn't be happier with it um, but now I am going to move on to okay now this is the product that has completely changed my skincare um, it is just it, it's insane but this is the drunk elephant um, TLC framboos glycolic night serum so this is intended to refine and retexturize as, as it says on the package and that is exactly what it's done like if i get close to you my skin is so smooth and it is because of this guy right here um it is quite strong at first so i sometimes feel some like little tingling but i have been using this consistently every single night because it truly just feels so so amazing on the skin like I wake up with my skin feeling like just brand new and I've always had lots of like little texture and bumps on my skin and um, I found that my Ren toner did a really fantastic job at kind of like helping that and obviously making my skin feel really glowy but I feel like this product right here just stepped it up a whole nother notch it is absolutely fantastic but again it's only nighttime it's been phenomenal um like even just look how beautifully glowy it made my skin right there i'm gonna add some lip balms my lips feel super super dry and then for eye cream i have been honestly flip-flopping between a bunch i have yet to really find an eye cream that i love i think i'm just gonna go back to my ren one because I don't know, I haven't found anything that I love. I've been flipping between this um, Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. It's good. 
Um, then there's the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is probably my favorite out of the three. It's really hydrating. I feel like it does a really nice job at brightening. Um, and then there's this YSL Eye Reboot Concentrate. Now this one is nice, but I find it's nice in the morning, not so much at night, because it's more like a gel consistency and it's got caffeine in it. So it's really nice in the morning, but yeah, I don't know. I still don't have a super favorite um, eye cream. This one is probably the best out of the three. So I think I'm gonna use that one tonight. Um, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this um, multivitamin eye cream from Drunk Elephant. Yeah, so that's the eye cream there. Really, really nice. It just feels lovely on the skin. Now there's a couple moisturizers that I've been loving. I'm, I'm still loving my Caudalie Premier Crew. One of the best skin creams I've ever used. Um, I like to use this one again when my skin is really dry. Um, I've shifted away from this one a tiny bit just because I feel like it was really great in the winter, but I feel like I need less of that rich moisturizing in the summer. So recently, I've been loving um, this Biosant Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. It is really, really light, super reminiscent of my Clinique Moisture Surge. Very, very similar. Um, I actually really love this one. Um, the other one I've been loving, and it's very similar to this one, and I've never heard anyone talk about this one. This one was actually sent to me in PR, but this is the NARS Skin Right Light Reflecting Moisturizer. This feels absolutely phenomenal on my skin. Um, in fact, I'm going to use this one today. It is just so beautiful, and again, it's that super like lightweight gel consistency. It has been a moisturizer that I've been really, really loving. Every time I put it on, I'm like, I get shocked by how beautiful it is. And the price is also phenomenal for this um, moisturizer. Oh, just feels like instantly hydrated. I absolutely love this moisturizer. It's wonderful. Of course, rubbing the rest on my hands. That's been a couple moisturizers that I've been loving, but that has been my um, nighttime skincare routine. Um, I've been, again, I am someone who always loves to kind of switch their moisturizer depending on how my skin is feeling. That's why I kind of showed you a couple products <laughs> as I did my skincare, but oh, my skin feels so healthy and so wonderful. I feel like a glazed donut right now. Don't we all love that? <laughs> oh, also, this robe is from Amazon. Yes. Amazon. I think this is my fourth robe from this brand on Amazon. They are like $30. I've got a black one, a beige one. This burgundy one is my newest one. I absolutely love it. I love these kind of dressing gowns to get ready. Um, they are absolutely stunning. So I'll link it down below for you guys. And someone asked on my Instagram, it seems like they only have one size, which is a large. So it seems like it's just like a one size only type product. So don't be freaked out if you only see like large available. Um, just go for that. That's the only size available. Um, but yeah, I've been absolutely loving these robes. Um, I did get another color, which actually I'll open up with you. The brand is Sioro. I don't know if you can see that. Sioro. Really, really great brand. Their robes are like a satin, so it's not a silk or anything. But they feel so beautifully. Um, they obviously like give them a good steam once you get them and they look stunning but this is the other color that i got same style as this burgundy one just a different color obviously but yeah it's got the beautiful kind of pattern on the sleeve i think that's so beautiful oh i love it i love this type of robe we're getting ready uh like a million now um, because they're just so nice to to wear but anyways i wanted to show you that before i forgot and i will link those down below for you but um i thought i would kind of catch up with you a little bit in terms of life because i don't know we haven't caught up um so essentially i feel like i should go to the couch let's go to the couch so i can comfortably talk to you oh my god i don't have sunscreen on i can't do this one second i closed the shutter so it wasn't like hitting my face because i don't have any spf on right now i just did my skincare um but i felt like it was time for a little bit of a I don't know, life catch up. I feel like it's been, it's been a while, I think. This 2022 has already been such a fantastic year. I feel like I made so many changes. You know, I feel like, you know, when they say you hit rock bottom, there's no way down, just up. That's so true. Like I really did, I think, hit rock bottom <laughs> during Christmas. 
and ever since then everything has just been going up um, and I've just been so happy and so grateful for everything but with that I think I've realized how much I neglected you know really taking care of myself and just prioritizing me and um, so I really want to you know get back to my yoga and reading and eating well I really let go of all of that because I was just prioritizing other things and I just really want to get back to that and um, with that there's a couple things that I have been wanting to do the first is Invisalign now I'm like the biggest scaredy cat with all of these things but um, these two teeth are not quite straight now I've never had braces so I'm really thankful that I have fairly straight teeth for never having braces but every time I film or whatever I just keep seeing these little guys and they just they kind of bug me so I feel like it'd be a really really you know minor fix but just the fact that it's gonna be painful and the trays having to take them on and off and I just don't know how the talking will be obviously I have to talk to the camera a lot so that does make me a little nervous but I honestly I think I just it's something that will make me feel a million times better so yeah that's one thing the other thing is contact lenses now I am nearsighted so I can see from a close but I can't see from afar um, and I have my glasses I do not like wearing my glasses. I find them the biggest pain in the butt ever. So I carry them with me most of the time in case I really need them. But in the past year, I've been finding that my eyesight has just like progressively gotten worse. Probably from not wearing my glasses. And um, I just, I've gotten to the point where like I'm even filming and I can't see like the screen. So it's not good because things are getting blurry and so I think it's time to do contact. I've never worn contacts so it should be an interesting experience. So yeah, we'll see about that. The third thing is I think the biggest thing but it's something that I think really needs to happen. So for the past two years now, I have been clenching my jaw when I sleep. Um, it's quite bad. Not only is it not good for my teeth, but it makes me wake up with headaches. And so I constantly wake up with like pressure headaches. My jaw feels like really sore and just like I've been clenching my jaw the whole night, right? Um, and so I've looked at all of the different things that you could do to help clenching. Obviously, there's mouth guards. Um, but the one that has been the most, um, that has looked the best to me and I feel like would be best suited for my life is Botox. Botox is something that's actually used to aid jaw clenching. And the way it works, it is put in your jaw. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna stop the use of those muscles. Therefore, you can't clench your jaw. This is a really great way to stop you from clenching your jaw. Obviously, if you use mouth guards, it's gonna protect your teeth, but it's not gonna necessarily stop you from clenching your jaw. Um, and so that's kind of why I didn't want to go the mouth guard route now I know it's gonna protect my teeth but my biggest issue was the headaches um, I was waking up with headaches every single day I mean I still am and it's it's just it's a lot and it's really um, it's not fun any of you who clench your jaw obviously know but the one thing that scares me about the procedure is that um, because it obviously means it's gonna reduce the use of the, that muscle, um, that muscle is gonna decrease in size, which can change the shape of your face. And that is the one hesitation I have with that procedure. Um, I really like my face. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And so that's the one thing that scares me, but I feel like if it's gonna give me that relief of not having headaches anymore, not having like, a super sore and higher jaw then I think honestly it's gonna be worth it so I have made an appointment um, for a consultation in June and yeah that's kind of what's going on so that's the one for sure thing that I'm doing the contacts and the Invisalign are kind of on the to-do list that I, ha I have yet to tackle those but just because I feel like Invisalign is gonna be quite a long-term thing although even they are pretty it's a pretty minor change that shouldn't be like a huge thing I guess I don't know but um, yeah that's kind of a little bit of a life update and then school I'm back to school in September again I'm just doing two courses a semester that's all I can kind of take on right now work has been fantastic I'm working with dream brands and really just continuing to build this community which I'm so so happy to have and yeah so that's a little bit of a life update I will also be traveling a little bit this summer so New York is on the list the UK is on the list 
um, we're going to London, so I'm very excited. I think it's going to be an awesome summer. But yeah, that's a little bit of a life update. I feel like I haven't sat down with you and like given you a life update recently. Um, and this is a positive one. I think it's a great one. So yeah, um, right now I think I'm going to make a tea, sit down, read a book, and just relax for a little bit. I'm also like obsessed with how glowy my skin is looking right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that's the plan for tonight. I'm gonna have a very, very low key night because tomorrow it's gonna be a lot of filming, um, which should be great. So yeah, I am going to go make a tea and just relax. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's been doing really, really well. Um, I just finished filming a um, another Shopping My Wardrobe videos. I am so happy that I get to share these with you guys. It is honestly so refreshing to just be able to share pieces that I've been loving, regardless of where they're from. I think not in this one, but the next Shopping My Wardrobe. Um, there's going to be so many beautiful Zara pieces. I think you guys will already have seen all of these already um, But it's just it, it, I feel like it's just nice to just be able to share things with no pressure And I just I love it so much. I could just, just share things that I've been loving which my mom and I um, had a little bit of a girls shopping day and I wasn't very good. I got a little carried away, but hey it happens sometimes um, but actually a lot of these pieces I have actually been wanting for a very very long time they were on my shopping list in fact I actually did a Q&A not too long ago on my Instagram and one of the questions that I, I, I didn't get around to it but one of the questions was um, you know what's on your monthly shopping list and it's funny because a lot of the things that I buy are Things that are actually on my wanting list for months. Um, like one of the bags that I'm going to show you, I think has been on my want list for over a year. Um, and it's just pieces that I really think about. I, you know, I think about how they're going to work. Are they going to be a good investment? Um, are they going to be pieces that I'm going to love five, ten years down the line? And, and I mean, I know it's okay to resell items and I think in the luxury world that is very, very common. But I think if I'm thinking about investment pieces and I start thinking, am I going to want them 10 years down the line? It makes it very clear if that's going to be a good investment. So if I start thinking, oh, I like this today, I can just sell it in a year, then I kind of stop thinking about the longevity of those items. And so, um, so yeah, a lot of the items that I buy are really very thought out pieces and yeah but i want to start off with this dress is actually an aritzia dress very very beautiful i believe it's called the chiffon baby doll dress and it's on sale um might not be available when you see this video but if you follow me on instagram you will have already seen it and probably gotten your hands on it um because i do share things on the daily and the things that i've been buying so if you're curious to see what i'm buying on the daily follow me on instagram i'll leave that on the screen for you somewhere so yeah let me grab these pieces to show you oh this was for bag so this was the bag that i got this dress in no longer need to show you that okay all right, I got all the pieces to show you. So the first piece that I got, I mean, I've already unboxed them actually, um, but these are a pair of Valentino um, sandals. Now, my thing with sandals, so like strappy sandals, is that they tend to be very uncomfortable. And I mean, I'm someone that is great in heels, like I can last hours and hours and I'm in heels and walking them comfortably, but like I said, I like to actually be able to wear my heels and if they're unbearable, then that just, it seems, it seems silly to me. And oftentimes sandals are unbearable. Um, and so I have one pair of Christian Louboutin sandals that are out of this world. Honestly, one of the best heel purchases I've ever made, but I saw these, I fell in love with them and I'm like, oh, let me just try them on. And I kind of prayed that they were going to be comfortable and well, they were so these are actually a runway collection so they are limited edition so if you want them i would try to get your hands on them as soon as you can because these have like a limited edition yellow gold rock stud most of their rock studs are more like a champagne color um such a beautiful design but the selling point for me on these was their comfort the strap here on the top not only is it very supportive but it's very comfortable the leather is thick and almost cushiony 
so it actually doesn't dig into your ankle it really just supports your ankle same thing with the strap here on the bottom it doesn't dig into your foot it just feels very supportive and i think it's because of the incline of the heel not all the weight feels like it's on the ball of your foot which that's oftentimes what causes pain um so i think honestly all around design of the shoe is phenomenal and so it's the first thing that i got i actually got these um kind of thinking that i'd be able to wear them on my new york trip i don't know if i've told you guys about that but i'm going to new york in fact i i, I might be there while you guys are watching this is that correct in saying that i don't know I'm not sure. I can't remember, but I will have already gone or might be there when you guys are watching this. And essentially I have a really special dinner planned on my last night of being there. I'm just going for a little weekend trip, so it won't be long or anything. Um, but I'm very, very excited because like I said, on one of the nights I have a very special dinner planned and I wanted to just have like little special pieces that I'm going to be able to kind of associate with that night. And I mean, when I saw these shoes, I was like, perfect. It's a great moment to be classy and sexy and it's perfect. <laughs> so that was the first thing that I got. The next thing that I got is also from Valentino. Now I'm kind of living like a little bit of a dream right now because Valentino is actually a brand that I really 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 love i love their designs i love the quality of their product i really think that valentino excels at this mixture of like classy and sexy and i love it it's one of my favorite things i think when you can be both it's like you've got the best of both worlds um and so let me open this up i actually haven't opened this up because i got it yesterday rather like last night and i haven't seen it since i kind of got it at the store so to go with the shoes, I went with the mini um, Valentino Rock Stud bag. So now let me take all of these things off so you can actually see it properly. I remember being in like high school, like grade nine or grade 10 and seeing influencers getting these bags. And I remember just thinking to myself, one day, one day, one day I will have one of those bags because I don't know, there was something about Valentino that always caught my attention. I mean, still, still to this day, clearly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just struggling to get this um, thing off. My nails are not helping. Okay, there you go. So this is the bag that I purchased. Um, it is the classic rock stud. So they're like more of a champagne gold. They are a lot smaller than um, the ones on my shoe. So I'll actually compare what they look like. So these are the limited edition um, rock studs. Again, a lot bigger and yellow gold, whereas these are more of a champagne gold and a lot smaller. Um, but the reason I fell in love with this bag is it's very versatile. So it is on the smaller end, but I needed a bag that was smaller, a little bit dressier. So this one does fit my camera, my phone, my little wallet, and probably like a lipstick or something. Um, so for me, it's it, it's enough. It's obviously not a bag that's going to hold a lot. Um, but what I liked about it was you could obviously wear it kind of as a clutch like this. You could wear it as a top handle like this. Um, or you could also wear it as a cross body. Now I'm not going to put it on right now. But this does come with a chain, if I can get it out to show you guys. Um, and I have, I, honestly, the associates at Valentino are the absolute best. I've never been like disappointed by an associate at Valentino. I think they just always are so knowledgeable in what, they are, what they're doing. Um, and so this is the strap. Um, you can obviously add it and wear it as a crossbody. Um, it's a, it, the bag is, is small enough and light enough that it's going to be comfortable with a metal chain. You could also wear it as a, actually I'll put it on, I guess, to show you guys since I'm here chatting about it. But as I was saying, not only are you able to wear it as a crossbody, but you're also able to wear it as a um, shoulder bag. So you're able to wear it, I need to cut these tags off. <laughs> So you're able to wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. So this is my Valentino purchase and I'm very excited. I think it's such a classic and edgy piece. I do love their kind of newer designs, but I don't 
don't know. I think this is such a classic timepiece and it's, it's a statement all on its own. So I really, really love it. And again, beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, honestly, comparable to Chanel for like a third of the price tag. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm so in love with it and I just, I'm so, so happy with it. So this is my first big girl Valentino purchase and I'm, I'm so in love with it. I'm so, honestly, I feel so thankful to be able to afford these items and yeah, I just, oh, I'm so happy. I don't know if you guys can tell. I will absolutely have to show you guys the outfit that I have like envisioned in my head with these pieces. I got my Valentino belt this bag the shoes oh i've got like a whole outfit already planned um in my head for this dinner <laughs> so yeah anyways i'm gonna put this back and show you my next purchase which is i don't know i feel like this bag was hard to top but we'll see so let's put that back so like I said, I'm going to New York. I'm going to start. I'm traveling. I'm also going to the UK in August. And so I bought something from Dior. But let me show you what I got. I'm going to back up. I'm not farting, I promise. I'm just going to back up to show you. Um, now, I... <laughs> I really wanted to be semi-original with this purchase um, and I tried on multiple, multiple styles, multiple colors and well, I guess you guys will know what I'm talking about when I show you, but so. I feel like I should be filming this for a, a reel, but oh well, you guys will see it first, I guess. <laughs> so let's open this up. Very excited for this. All right. So what I got from Dior was the original book tote. Um, so this is in the large size and it is the classic like Dior navy blue. Um, I'm actually gonna take these off of here. So, sorry, I just had to take those handles off so you could see it, but I went with the Dior book tote. Now, I really just wanted a bag that was going to be good for travel. I have my beautiful Burberry bag, and um, that one is great for work. It's a little bit smaller than this, so it doesn't carry a whole lot, but my biggest complaint with that one, and I should have learned, um, but it is flimsy, so it doesn't stand on its own. And when I was looking for a um, travel bag, I wanted something that was gonna be able to just, yeah, you know, I could put down on the floor and it would stand, or put on top of a suitcase and it would stand all on its own. And um, so I immediately turned to the Dior book tote and I tried on almost every single one of <laughs> the colors that they had. I will link below the two styles that I really, really loved aside from this one, so you guys can check them out. But honestly, at the end of the day, I was in the store and I was trying them on. And the moment I grabbed this one and I looked in the mirror, my face lit up. And honestly, my mom always jokes about this, but she always says that she can always tell when I've found like the one because my face lights up. I have a smile, my body language changes. And as soon as I put this one on, that's exactly what happened. My face kind of lit up. I was like, oh, like this is the one. And so, yeah, I, I wanted to be, you know, I didn't want to have to get the original one. I wanted to be different. I mean, guess don't we all want to be different? But you know what? This is the one I loved. And sometimes you just have to, you just have to go with the one that you love. And this was the one that I really, really loved. And before I got this one, I actually spent a lot of time tracking down the burgundy one in this particular style. Um, I think it was an older season. So I was looking at Vestia Collective and um, a couple other like pre-loved websites because I just really wanted this one, but in the burgundy and none of them were in fantastic condition. And honestly, a lot of them were pretty close to the price of a brand new one. And so for a few extra hundred dollars, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna get the new one. Maybe in the future I'll get my hands on a burgundy one because honestly, burgundy is one of my favorite colors, you guys know that, but this blue is just, it's stunning. And so this was my next 
purchase. I can't tell you how excited I am for this. Um, so yeah, it's funny. Um, someone in my Q and A asked me like, are you a um, Dior ambassador? And I'm like, I wish I'm not, but I really wish I that I was. I love Dior. It's one of my absolute favorite brands. Um, I mean, obviously I think you can tell, I think it's the brand that I have the most from because I am never disappointed by them. Their quality is beautiful. Their designs are beautiful. I love the history of the brand. I love the history of the designer. Um, so it's really just a brand that I think I really resonate with. And so that's why I think you guys will see me buying a lot of Dior. And yes, I purchase everything with my own money um, because I love it. So anyways, those are the few things that I've been buying. That's my little like luxury haul. I guess it was a little luxury haul. Um, but those are all the things I've been buying. I'll link them all below for you guys. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited about these pieces. So those are all the pieces that I got. I'm very, very happy with them. And I just am really thankful for all of them. My plan for today is I have lots of editing to do um, for the rest of the day. So honestly, I might go snuggle up on the couch and make a cup of tea and do some editing. Once I'm done that, that's gonna be, I think, gonna be the bulk of my day. Um, then I'm gonna go to the gym. I think I told you guys a while back that I was getting back into the gym. I just wanted to feel a little bit stronger and just not as like, flimsy to be honest um and so that's been a goal of mine i haven't been like perfect at it i will admit i just keep honestly i've been putting like excuses for going to the gym like oh i have work to do oh my schedule is like all over the place i have like a million and one excuses for why i'm not getting to the gym oh i just washed my hair oh i have an event tomorrow oh i don't want to be sore and i feel like i just need to cut that out I don't know if any of you guys do this, but I've been doing that so, so, so much recently. And perhaps it's because, I don't know, maybe I'm just not enjoying the gym in the same way that I used to. I used to love going to the gym. It like, it would like fuel me. And I don't know, I just, I haven't been feeling like that in a little while. And it's, it's quite frustrating because I used to love it. And I don't know, I've just been in such a different headspace. I've been really loving life and I've been loving eating food. <laughs> and um, I don't know, maybe I'm just in a different, Point in my life right now but i would really love to get back into the gym i've also found a new hobby this might surprise many many of you because it surprised me um but i have been dabbling in golf now this makes me laugh because i mean growing up in a small town where a lot of like the guys golfed it was just like it's just not it's not my you know it's just odd it's just not my thing um like I was a figure skater and that was my world and I was in band and that was my world. And anyways, golf was just something that I never ever like considered. Um, my family wasn't a golf family or anything like that. Anyways, I've been dabbling in golf and I can um, confirm that it is A, very hard, B, very fun. And I don't know, I just, I've been really loving the challenge of learning something new. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's been a lot of fun. Like, let me know if you guys have been trying any new stuff. I'd love to know what new stuff you guys have been trying. I think it's so important to to have kind of hobbies and new things to to be learning and to challenge yourself with. And I think it's been a while since I've done something that's just been like challenging, if you know what I mean. And I mean, one of the things I loved about playing sports, especially figure skating, is this challenge of doing something a million and one times until you get it. Um, and failing a whole lot, but then succeeding and I don't know. I feel like having started golf I kind of regained that feeling of Failing but then working really hard at it and then you know figuring something out or starting to see like your own improvement It's been so so much fun I would show you some footage, but I don't know if I'm like prepared enough to like put myself out on the internet like that um but yeah it's been so much fun i'm not out on the course yet i feel like i'm nowhere near the level i should be i mean to be fair it's been like i don't know two three months of golfing so i'm like no expert here but um maybe eventually i'll get on the on the golf course i'll definitely take you with me if i eventually do get out there but um yeah that's something that i've been doing recently and it's been so much fun but i'm definitely like i've got like no upper body strength so i need to like get in the gym and work like back and shoulders and triceps and all of that stuff because your girl has 
not much strength up here yeah there's not much going on up there <laughs> um so that's why i want to get into the gym and i feel like i don't know i feel like you guys i you guys will keep me in check i'm gonna do that okay help me keep me in check guys because i need to get out there and be stronger and yeah anyways after that i'm gonna go to the grocery store i literally have not been to the grocery store to get any food in like forever again i've just found myself in this like rut of making excuses for a million and one things so i'm gonna go to the grocery store pick up some good food and um yeah just make some good food for dinner tonight i had like the worst breakfast i had a slice of banana bread and toast with butter it's just it's not very healthy <laughs> or well-rounded by it's not even healthy just not well-rounded whatsoever so anyways i am going to clean up my mess and then i'm going to um sit down and get some work done for the rest of the day so yeah anyways let's clean up i had just brought in my ipad to watch something while i cleaned up and i forgot to mention and i just thought i recently started watching handmaid's tale and i read the book um probably about two three years ago i think is when i read the book read it in three days it was the most amazing thing the, the literature was absolutely out of this world loved the book but i always kind of i'm gonna sit <laughs> i always kind of procrastinated on watching the show just because i don't know i felt like it, i felt like the book was so hard to top and I mean, the show is actually filmed in Canada. It was filmed in Cambridge, which is where I grew up, as well as in Toronto. Um, and so I finally started it about a week ago. I'm on like, I don't know, I think I'm like the sixth episode, I think, of season one. And oh my God, it is just phenomenal. It is, I, I, and I think I gave enough time from reading the book to watching the show where I can really enjoy the show and how it was created because I can't really remember a whole lot from the book. Like I obviously remember like the gist of it, but anyways, I'm not gonna sit down and have another 20 minute conversation, but the show is phenomenal and it just reminded me of how amazing the book was. Um, again, Margaret Atwood is Canadian. She's actually a U of T alumni, um, and so, which is awesome. But yeah, I just, I, if you watched Handmaid's Tale. Oh my god, tell me your thoughts and opinions because I just want to talk about it. So please share your opinions because I'm I'm in love with it. Hello everyone. I just got home from getting some groceries. I did end up putting on a sweater over top of my um, white Aritzia dress because it is a little windy outside and I always get chilly when it's windy. I'm just trying to find something to prop you guys on. All right, got all my things here. I'm actually gonna take a sweater off because it is warmer in here than outside. So I, like I was saying, I just got back from getting some groceries. So I just picked up a few things that I didn't have. I also, it was nice to get out for a little bit of a walk. I sometimes get stuck at home and I'm being here all day in the comfort of my home and I don't leave when I should go for a walk. So I just picked up a few things. Um, I also, and I was telling you guys earlier that I was watching Handmaid's Tale. Well, I ended up picking up the second book by Margaret Atwood. This one is called The Testament. It is the book after Handmaid's Tale. Um, so I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna start this tonight, to be honest. I, I don't know, I got into a funk with books where I like started like four of them and I really wasn't enjoying them and then I didn't finish them. And so hopefully this one will get me back into the flow of reading. I think I'm gonna do some editing tonight and then as soon as I'm done that, I'm just gonna cuddle up with a book and start this one, I'm very excited. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for tonight, but I am gonna make a quick dinner. I'm honestly feeling really, really, really lazy tonight. So I may just make one of these buffalo ranch salads and eat that. I am defrosting some soup that I made about a week ago. I had um, put it in the freezer just to freeze. And so I am defrosting that. Hopefully it'll be defrosted by the time I have dinner. But if not, this will be a quick and easy meal. I might um, boil some eggs to have some protein in there. But honestly, I'm feeling very lazy today. 
So yeah, I also, oh my god, I have to tell you guys about these. I mean, this brand has been my favorite for, oh my god, some time now, but this Riviera, Maison Riviera yogurts are the absolute best vegan yogurts, but this is the coconut milk, mango, and passion fruit. This flavor is delicious. Um, the other flavor that I really like, I think, is the mixed berry. It's got like strawberry and raspberry, blackberry, I don't know, something like that. But that one is really good. But this one for the summer is so nice. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got a new camera. The lighting, do you see that? It keeps going like dark and then light all of a sudden. There you go, it goes dark again. So weird. But anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm going to make my salad. Hopefully my soup is defrosted and have some dinner before I get back to work. Hello, good evening everyone. I am in full cozy mode because I have been on my couch editing for I don't even know how many hours now, but it is quarter to 11, so it's getting really, really late and I really just wanna get into bed and start my new book. I have it. Um, I have it right here. It's been teasing me all night long and I'm so excited to start it. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm just gonna get into bed, read my book, go to sleep and get up super, super early and um, finish the editing then. Honestly, I feel like I'm, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely a morning person. I feel like I function better in the morning. Like I'm more quick and just, I think quicker on my feet, whereas at night I feel like I get a little bit sluggish and I'm just, I don't know, I'm not as productive at night. So I think I'm just gonna call it a night um, and start my new book, which I'm very excited about. So anyways, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I will see you guys in the morning.